Alrighty then, so I'm currently on Amazon looking at the GW4 wide angle convergent lens for the Ricoh GR3. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty pricey and uh, looking back, I should have bought it back in November, uh, back when Adorama and uh, B&H, they weren't charging tax and, and they were actually offering free shipping as well. Um, but here on Amazon, there is one uh, to use, uh, good condition, uh, but uh, I don't know if you can read. It's a small cosmetic imperfection on front of the camera body. So I'm not sure if that means the damage is on the actual glass lens or, you know, I'm not sure if it means it's, if it's on the, let's see, let me get my, if it's on the actual lens over here. Or on the barrel. I mean, if it's if it's on the barrel, I really don't mind. But if it's on the glass, then that's a different story. So that might affect image quality. Uh, but I'm gonna chance it and buy it, and you know, because I could always return it, and we'll see how it goes. Because, like I said, I'm not really sure what. I wish it was state. It would be more specific. But uh, I guess I have to take a chance and uh, see what what they're offering. Because if it's damaged to the barrel, like I said, I really don't mind unless it's with the when you, where you put a a uh, filter on that might you know cause uh, some limited usage for it. But uh, other than that, I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna take a chance. So what do you guys think? One sixty-two plus tax, we'll make it to like one seventy-eight around there. Uh, cause if you buy it brand new, it's, uh, it's 119, I mean 219 with tax, it's almost like 250, it's not even worth it. Um, also these things will devalue with time, so I think I might just pull the trigger on this one. And if anything, I could always return it. Okay, uh, well let's see what happens. Add to cart. Okay, folks, so two days have passed since I ordered the Ricoh GW4 or the Ricoh GR3 to make it a 21 millimeter lens. So let's take a look and see what I get. Again, this is this is, bought. This is the cheap version of the kind because uh, supposedly it's damaged, so I'm not sure where the damage is at. So we'll see. Uh, I also bought this thing over here, which is a cable release. So since I want to do long exposures, uh, I'll check that out, see how it is. So here is the lens itself uh, from the Amazon warehouse. I mean, I'm hoping this thing is okay, because I mean, I did buy it cheap for a reasonable price. I just I'm wondering where the damage is at, so I could always return this and uh, go from there. All right, let's see. So I want to do that. And then the box. Uh, scissors. It is heavy, I'll tell you that much. Pretty darn heavy. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how where the damage is at. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, a little carrying bag. I'm really not hoping it's on the actual lens, the glass. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, that's the hood. I don't see any damage. Maybe there it's a little scratch, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Let's see if I get like 
go. All right, I'm gonna pause it for a minute and then uh, I'm gonna bring a cleaning cloth and see if I can see any scratches in the lens. Okay, so I am back and uh, so far so good. I don't see any scratches in the lens at all or in the barrel for that matter. I think the guy just returned it. Didn't want anything to do with it. Didn't want it. Uh, honestly, folks, I don't see anything wrong with this lens at all. I don't see any damage on the barrel, on the metal. Things heavy, very damage. Um, no dents on the filter ring over here that you put in your, you know, when you screw on a filter. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think I got a good buy here. Definitely no scratches. Yeah, from from what I can see with the naked eye, right now. Wow, I got lucky on this. Really lucky. Where's the damage? I don't see any damage. I don't think it's a original Rico lens cap over here. I don't care about that. Uh, the rubber hood. All right, folks, I think I got lucky here. Um, nothing wrong with the uh, lens at all. Not that I can see of. What do you guys think? Let's attach it to the Rico GR3. Let's see how it looks like. So here I have the adapter. So what we'll do is screw this on. Sure it grabs onto a thread nice and securely. Make sure it doesn't go in the wrong angle. This is heavy, I'll tell you that much. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh man, this kind of it really kills the portability of the GR3. But uh, you know, you are. A, Attaching a bigger lens, um, but yeah, that is that's pretty cool. Definitely wider for sure. Um, so what I'll do is take a picture of my monitor with the lighting lens first, and then I, I'll take it off so you guys can see the difference. Okay. And I'll, I'll show you the pictures. I'll post them right now. Um, I am pretty happy. So I was thinking I spent a lot of money on a damaged lens, which I don't see any damage at all. Um, I think the person just bought it and returned it and I just didn't like it. And uh, it is heavy, I'll tell you that much. It's really, it's front heavy. And, but there's no damage. Uh, I mean, other than this, I don't think this is the original cap for the Rico uh, lens. Might be, I'll have, to, I'll have to look some videos online. Um, Cause I, otherwise I, I think it'll probably say Rico, right? Uh, the lens hood pops on just like so. I'll do it when it's off. Let's actually do it right now. Maybe the hood is messed up. Excuse me, maybe the hood is messed up. It does feel kind of loose, I'm not sure. Interesting how that is. Okay. <laughs> this is huge. Uh, wow. Alright, I am going to go out and shoot and play with this. And uh, I'll show you the examples at the end of the video. Um, 
so far I'm happy. I'm very happy with the buy. Um, except that if I would have bought a brand new uh, for two nineteen plus tax, it would have been almost like two fifty. And the way I bought it, the way it is, it cost me one eighty or one seventy eight with some sense. So it's not like a good deal. And then, uh, like I said, I don't, I really don't see any damage at all whatsoever. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll post the pictures uh, right now. Uh, well, I'm going to go out and I'll put them later on. I'll post them right now, uh, later on, and I'll come back. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.